Hi all, it's Piotr. Let's have a quick look at the albums that will come next Wednesday. I'm happy that my local shop had it earlier. So for me, the main points are Empire Omnibus, Immortal Hulk Volume 4. I love this epic collection, it's Life Gift. The last adult Spider Man that is really, really worth reading. And Rain of Wicks Volume 6. But let's focus on Empire Omnibus and later Immortal Hulk. As you can see, I choose the cover direct micro version that is with Wiccan. Really cool cover, at least for me. The other version of the cover to this one is with Fantastic Four and Avengers. But I really like Wiccan and Hawking and their relationship, so I choose this cover. We can see here how it looks. And how it looks on the back. Of course, you can read the classic Chris Cronoir. It's really, really good, but for this, you can see how much is inside of this omnibus. It collects Incoming One, Road to Empire, the Chris Cronoir, Empire Zero Avengers, Empire Zero Fantastic Four, Empire One Plus Six. Aftermath Avengers, Fallout Fantastic Four, Lords of Empire, Emperor Hulking, Avengers Empire Captain America 1 2 3, Empire Avengers 1 3, X Men 10 11, Fantastic Four 1 23, Captain Marvel 18 through 21, Immortal She Hulk 1, Web of Venom, Empire Zen, Black Panther and Engines of Wakanda, and Empire. Handbook, you will see it's huge. Plus, something very, very cool that is unpublished material, including Empire Spider Man, Empire Thor, and really, really a lot more. I will show you. Let's go. On the dust jacket, how what we have inside. As you can see on the right, it's the cover. Then at the dusk jacket we have the cover for the second one, standard cover that is Fantastic Four and Avengers. I will show you later what is how it looks in full. Let's see the dusk jacket. Inside we have all the information that you need have practically whole Marvel Universe is engaged in that. Here we have about the creators, Al Ewing, Dan Slott, Valerio Shitty, Let's go to see the cover, as you can see here. It's Sue Storm. Iron Man. There is a small thing that I'm not sure what is going on. I'm not sure you will see it. I will try to show it, but it's something with the paint thing. You can see here. You can see here. It's like missing painting. Paint. That, oh, you can see it here. Even better. 
For a moment I was thinking that it was because of the Sue and her powers, but... Oh, yeah, you can see it right now. But only if you do it like the way I did it right now. Maybe now you can see it here. But I don't think it will disturb in reading. I don't know what is going on Marvel. But maybe let's see the whole picture. This is how it presents in whole under the dust jacket. And now let's see if there's an eye. I'm in the middle of the book, so let's see. Yeah, beautiful eye. I will show you something that I still don't get it, why sometimes Marvel is doing it that way. You can go to the start. Here it's what is inside. But still, why do they put the page number if there is no pages to count? But at least, at least I must tell you, tell you that, as you can see, when we start reading, there is every time a cover. Incoming is huge issue. So let's go. something that is not part of the incoming yeah you see there is always cover before so at least that way you can check where you are so I hope this will help What is this story all about? It's about Chris Kroll under one roller and Kotati on the moon. It may look like they are going after the Kotati very peacefully nation, but during the story we'll know what why they are going against this nation. It's a race we can say. I read the main story and Inter and all that was connected with Fallout. I love X-Men times because of Wanda and what she did with... She was trying to help with what she did during House of M. It is funny. So I will have a lot of issues to read, more than the main story and couple of times that I had pleasure to read. Here we have Empire X-Men and Wanda. So it's a very big book with a lot of stuff to read. As you can see. Let's go maybe to the end. I will show you where the where it all starts. Here is a handbook. Very very good stuff. A lot of reading about Avengers, Kree, Scrolls, Blurry of the Moon. So it's something really, really good for each fan of Marvel Universe. Kotati, Fantastic Four, Kree. So it's everything here. And then after that, something they put quite a lot of issues. You can see. How much bonus stuff is here? 
and what it contains here. As the pandemic COVID started, a lot of serious projects that were for the Empire, they were not published and never. Some were published in, were created in one, two issues or only a cover. So they include in this omnibus everything. As you can see here, Empire Spy Spider Man 1 to 3 is issue one, issue 1 full, issue 2 not, not full, and issue 3 only cover with Tor similar situation. Squadron Supreme. issues Empire cover the only cover so we have it all in here so it will be really, really fun to read so much additional stuff they did it this way so it's quite a lot of stuff you may see yeah, I think it's the first time I ever see Sort of thing they completed in full due to COVID. And if you think it's going all the way, quite a lot of issues. And then after two issues of story with Paganda that were completed so they put it here Black Panther and, and the Agents of Paganda then we have covers quite a lot of stuff really and I love this this is beautiful. Everything planned. So this omnibus is one of those that you will remember for a really long time and read it for a really long time. Jim Chunk cover. Empire One plot. And the end, and sketches. So, very, very big book, as you can see. For me, it was a pleasure to read the main story. Of course, not everything was fine, but the alliance that created between Kree and Skrull really good X-Men tie great I really love them so everything that is bonus stuff here it will be pressure to read for me as you can see a lot of stuff to read really really lost like I freaking love it Take a look again. So much stuff. So everything that you can imagine about Empire, the confrontation, the fight, the Avengers, X-Men, everyone included, is here. It's big monumental story during coronavirus, so at least they gave everything they had. It was fun read. For me it was a really, really fun read, so I hope you will enjoy it one day.